Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in audacity. So today, we are going to talk about how you can send the entire project, whether that be to yourself on a different computer, or you'd like to send the entire audacity project to somebody else to work on for whatever reason that may be. And I actually come across this problem quite often um, as my students like to send me projects. But what happens often is that we will send only one of the two files. So each project comes with two files. One will have the Audacity icon on it and the other will look like a folder and contain the data. Now, if they are not together, then the project will not work. So if you delete one of those, then the project will not open anymore. So it's imperative that we keep those together. And when we want to send a project, what we need to do is, let me just pull these out and put these on the desktop. By the way, side note, coming to you live from the RE20 Cardioid Today Electro Voice <sighs> staple, total staple. So this is what we need to do. We need to right-click, create a new folder, and we need to take both of the project files and put them into one folder. Then once we do that, we will right-click and then go to Send To and create a compressed, zipped folder. So once that's done compressing, At that point in time, you can email it to yourself, you can email it to someone else, you can upload it to Dropbox, Google Drive, Apple iCloud, whatever, anything you want to do. Um, So at that point in time, then I will show you what the individual needs to do once they receive that. Um, So while we're waiting, let's just talk about how bad to the bone this microphone is. I love this mic. I use it for the majority of my voiceovers. Uh, as you see, I've got two mics here. One is the the Blue Ember and this guy right here. This is my main squeeze. Uh, if you were to look up lists on the best voiceover mics, you will find this microphone show up time and time again. And there's a reason for that. It is kind of expensive, but I don't know. It's a forever mic for me. And you could seriously like drill a nail into a deck with this thing. The build quality is out of control. So it's just kind of uh, killing a little time while this was finishing. And here we go. Now we've got it. And we'll call this Medicare. Yes. So I was working on a Medicare commercial. So I had this project up. I figured this was a great opportunity to go ahead and talk about this. So I'm just going to drag those into the trash. Oops. Full and use cancel. So let me go ahead and close this project first. Okay, and we'll drag this stuff into the trash. And I will just pretend like, okay, I received the email or I got the Dropbox or Google Drive link and I just downloaded it. And I'm the individual who's receiving the project from somebody in a different country, different coast, different state, whatever. So I've just downloaded it. And what we need to do is take this compressed zipped folder and we will right click on that and extract all. So we will extract, and this will take just a moment. So I'll probably edit this piece out so I don't make you wait through it and just chat your ear off in the meantime about nonsensical random stuff. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so quick time lapse. We're almost done with the extraction. And as you saw, I went ahead and I drug that other stuff into the trash um, so that you could see I don't have it. Um, other than the, the brand new extracted folder here. So once it is done extracting, and voila, now this happens every once in a while, but it's not a big deal. What you don't want to do is, is say, yeah, I'd like to delete, uh, these project folders. Actually, I'm going to close this and I'm going to open that again. Don't ever do this. If you see this prompt, it happens every once in a while. It's it's strange. Um, But definitely continue without deleting. Ignore the extra files. Because if you delete some of those files, it says that they're not necessary. But myself and some of my students have deleted some of these files uh, 
before and their projects end up ruined. So if you see this prompt, definitely continue without deleting. So yes, I will select that and click OK. And we're all good. And this is the entire project. That's how it goes down. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, please consider subscribing, liking. Um, but until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.